We are ZVZ on Antigua Shipyard, and down at the bottom of the map, in the red, is going to be our Zerg player from the team, Zenex. It is going to be Zenex Suho Shin, or Lion, yep. depending. His old ID. Yep. And up at the top of the map, in the blue from the team, Startail, it is Curious, and he went for a very early pool. Yes, he did. Yeah. Looks like a 10 pool, I believe it is. I didn't uh, think he made it. Oh, maybe a 9 or 10 pool. It looks like a catch it. Yeah, it looks like a 9 pool, I yeah. think. Not early pool for both of these guys, actually. Yeah, Suo so. is actually really well known for his early pool play in this matchup, ah, but he knows how to transition out of it really well. Hmm. Uh, this is a 4 player map. Double extract extractor trick there so we can get extra units out while making those drones. For those of you guys who don't understand the extractor trick, I'd just like to explain it. Go you know it. we have a lot of new StarCraft fans out there. You can only have. 10 supply of units as a Zerg player. So 9 of that is your first Overlord, and the 10th is the 1 supply you get from the Hatchery. So if you make 2 drones into Extractors, that means those 2 are no longer taking up supply. You make 2 more drones, then you cancel them, and you're, you get your drones back from your Extractors, and then you have 12 out of 10. That's, uh, that's the explanation I give you guys. Yeah. So he makes the Extractor now at a normal timing after getting a little bit more mining from that drone, and you only lose a few minerals from canceling an Extractor, since yeah. Extractors only cost 25 minerals. I think you end up with, what is it, 17 back 17, I believe, like that? yeah. 75% of 25, whatever that well, is. I think it's uh, 17, maybe. You're right. This is about as mirror of a mirror matchup you can get, because we've got Zerglings. Look at the mini-map. It's like, mirrored. Yeah, man. It's a mirror map. There's a line of symmetry that goes between these bases. And they are going to actually just run right into each other. And one of them was an attack move, the other one's not. So Curious gets a few hits right before Line does. Neither of these players losing any sort of leagues, though. Yeah, just a little bit of damage, though. Nothing to worry about yet. And now it looks like Curious is going to try to maybe get something up the ramp just to see what his opponent has. Although, by seeing that, he should know by now. He just needs to look to see if there's a gas or something. If he just wants a... to put pressure on, force yeah. his opponent to micro, uh, and make him make additional Zerglings, whereas back at home he is not. Yep. Um, Zergling speed starting here. And yep. actually not mining any more gas to Suocean, getting that Zerling speed, pulling drones out of gas, looks like he wants to make a hatchery. Whereas gas is continuing to be mined from Curious, and we mm. may even see a Baneling Nest go down here. Yeah, certainly could. He is droning up quite heavily right now, though, because like we were saying, you know, he forces his opponent to make Zerlings, and he didn't have to, so why not just make a bunch of drones? Yeah, exactly. ZVZ is a game of risks. How many drones can you get away with? All mirror matchups, to a certain extent, are games of risks. Now, yeah. he can engage this with fewer Zerglings because he knows they're going to fight 1v1, but with that Queen there, I think it would have been a better choice to back away. Yeah, a little bit of a suspicious move there by Curious. You know, it didn't go too well for him, didn't get the ramp. He didn't really gain anything from that. Yeah. Um, you know, I suppose maybe, sort of maybe, he made Suo Shin make a couple extra yeah, it's wings. A, it's a scare tactic to, move. Yeah. Because if you do end up breaking it through because you have a bunch of Zerglings hiding behind or your Zergling speed is about to finish or something like that, it can uh -huh. be scary. But remember, uh, the Zerglings fight each other 1v1 basically in that situation, or 2v1 if they're placed perfectly. So it's okay to trade like that unless there's a queen. And uh-oh, gonna catch all the Zerglings here. Yeah. Ocean. And Curious is making a uh, hatchery behind this as well, but that is a lot of Zerglings. Yeah, man. He actually, you Whoa. know how I said earlier how he might make a hatchery, but no, he decided to make spend that yeah. minerals on 12 Zerglings instead. Oh, Baneling Nest for Curious. Look at this. He has speed first. He's going to catch all of these Zerglings. Oh, no. This is not good for our Startail player here. But he is, like you said, he has that Baneling Nest on the way. He has to cancel his hatchery, hatchery immediately. He has to make spines, though, because he has Jack back at his base, he man. Has nothing. He's got less than Jack. He's got, like, J. That's yeah, about man. it, man. And here come all the Zerglings, and I don't know if Curious can survive this. I don't think so, man. Oh. This is actually really, really scary. Yeah. Nice control here by the drones, trying to use those drones with the minerals to keep the spine crawlers alive. But the queen may go down. Nice micro by Curious, but will it be enough? So many units going down here. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be enough, it. man. I think this is nice drone spread to try to take out as many wings as you can. The spine crawlers do finish, but oh wow, he dies. holds it, man. And you know what? The queen dies. There's still 11 drones, so 11 drones. All, all, huh. all that we know now is that what happens next, what decisions Lion makes, is really going to determine this game. Does he? Drone up heavily, take a natural. What is he going to do? How many more Zerglings is he going to make? He knows his opponent lost he's a queen. Drones right now. Trying to break this, though, is not going to work. There's huh. two spines there. Oh, he's making a roach worm. All right. That's the he exact the, right choice. Yeah, he saw the Baneling Nest. He knew that Lings weren't going to be quite as good, so he's going to make a roach worm. Oh, but Curious gets in and sees it. Will he cancel? Nice. He's actually going to use these units to target down drones and stop mining. I really like yeah, that. That'll help quite a bit. Look at that. Ten drones for Curious. 
13 for Lion right now. Oh, gonna catch some Zerglings here as well. And the spines are moving. Oh, oh no! You've gotta be kidding me. All the drones are actually. Oh man, going to the die drones right dying here. He's been targeting them down. Yep. GG! And why would he move the spines? I don't know. He, the reason, I don't know. The reason why I believe he moved the spines is because he thought, oh, well, if I don't move these, he can pick off the drones on the left and right side quite easily. Yeah. But you know, you have to make sure the Zerglings are gone before you do that. Or you move them yes. one at a time. One at a time, not both at the same time. Took a risk. Didn't Line is actually really smart in ZBZ. He actually does these, he, he does these decisions where he's like actually ruthless, man. He's a ruthless ZBZ player. I would agree. Go back and watch his VODs, guys, of, of uh, other tournaments he's been in, like, for example, the Super Tournament where he played in and, and some of his older stuff. Look his replays up because they're all over the internet. Here's I watch his ZBZ. Here's the thing, though. This, this brings us to an interesting situation in this uh, group, though, because we've got now three players tied for uh, first at 2-1. We've got Suho Shin, Holt and Curious all at 2-1 right now, whereas we've got MC at 1-2 and MVP down at the bottom at 0-2. So this group is still really volatile right now. We'll have to see what happens in our next game. It's going to be a TVT. It's going to be TSL Polt versus MVP on Crossfire. Yeah. Well, and I'm Polt, ready to jump right into it if you I'm are, ready, man. man. Let's jump into it. If Polt wins this one, uh, then of course he'll pull ahead. He'll be he in first place at, at that moment. Yep. So basically we've got both all these players that are tied are all playing in these next three matches. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to kind of determine who stays or, or whether or not we have tiebreakers. So let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Into the game.